when using WAMAP to graph inequalities, uh, there's a few new buttons that you're going to see as options. So you see them down here below our graph. And what we have for each one is two different options. One, like if we look at the lines first, uh, one you'll notice has a solid line and the other one has a dashed line. That's the only difference between those two tools. Remember that you're going to be using a solid line anytime it's an or equal to. So in other words, if it's greater than or equal to, use solid. If it is less than or equal to, use solid. If it's not equal to, so if it's just greater than or just less than, then you're going to use the dashed graph. And so if it's a line, you go ahead and use the line graph, which is the first pair of them. Uh, if it is a quadratic, so like x squared, you'd be using either of the second two because those are our parabola graphs that come from graphing x squared. But this particular problem was an absolute value. And so we would use that V-shaped graph. And so I'm going to grab one of those in order to be able to make this particular graph. And because it's a greater than or equal to, that means I'm going to be grabbing the first one, which is solid. So I press that button. And then I'm just graphing in this one the basic function of the absolute value of x, except its y is greater than it. OK, so this one is really just kind of get you oriented later on as you go through the assignment. It'll have you shift it and uh, stretch it and reflect it and all that stuff. But all the same rules apply. So our basic graph of the absolute value starts here at 0, 0, and then it's going up 1 and over 1. Notice it's a nice solid line. That's what we wanted to see because it was equal to. But this graph is not actually done because I still need to shade. You notice in our pictures there on all of our buttons, there's a shaded region. What you're going to do is you're going to click a point on either side. And you notice just by clicking at any point below it, it shades everything below it. If I click any point above it, it shades everything above it. In this case, since it's a greater than or equal to, I do want it shaded above my graph. So I just plot that point anywhere that's above it. It doesn't matter where as long as it's above it, and that will lock in the shading above it. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and submit it, and you should be good using these tools on this assignment now.